Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Superman Lois Season 3. Today we're going to be talking about a video that was released at Fan Expo Canada 2022. This was just on recently. It was uploaded just under a week ago. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so this video gives us a lot of stuff to talk about. This has been something that we've heard about on a couple of occasions. The fact that a certain person could be interested in showing up in Superman Lois. But in this video from Fan Expo, Tyler Hoechlin and Elizabeth Tullock from Superman Lois, obviously they play Superman and Lois Lane respectively, talked about this certain person showing up because they got asked it at the convention yeah, by a fan I presume it doesn't actually show the question but that is what we can presume and so I love fan conventions because you come face to face with the actors you can ask them questions sometimes they get all flustered and they're like oh I can't really answer that because it's a spoiler like I'll get killed by the executives or whatever so it's really great that we get the chance as fans to ask these questions and it's interesting how the actors reply knowing that maybe they have some information but probably they don't actually have that much information and they only know what they hear and sometimes they you know have to deny stuff even if it is true that's happened many times at like San Diego Comic Con and things like that but also with this in mind I do want to start going back to some more Comic Con conventions I am planning to go to San Diego Comic Con next summer so that is next year if you guys go into that, start planning now because it's going to be a awesome event. This year was good. I wasn't able to actually go in the end, but next year. So I'll see you guys there. But in the meantime, I'll try and go to some London-based or UK-based comic cons as well. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get into today's main topic. So Tyler, this is what he says at the start of the video. He says she's the greatest, referring to Melissa Benoist who obviously played Supergirl on Supergirl. So she's the greatest, she was born to play Supergirl, so complimenting her, and he also goes on to say about his time working with her and the rest of the cast and crew on Supergirl. He said he had so much fun guest starring in Supergirl and doing the crossovers with all of the people in the Arrowverse who've worked on these shows, including Melissa, Grant, Steven, all of those people, because They've all been on screen at the same time, and they've worked together. And so, then Elizabeth Tullock goes on to say, We have not heard that rumour of her coming to the show, her meaning Melissa Benoist, which is just a typical line saying that, Oh, like, we don't listen to anything online, like, I've never heard of that. That is just something I'm hearing for the first time. Well, no, they've definitely been asked that before, and they know more about it, but that's just a typical kind of publicity thing where you're like, Oh, we haven't heard of this, but, you know, it would be a pretty good idea. So, it's nothing new. You will know that if you've been to a Comic-Con before or any type of convention, they say this stuff all the time. But anyway, she goes on from that to say, She has expressed interest to me in doing it. In terms of Melissa Benoist expressing interest and showing up once again as Supergirl and Superman Lois. Now, one thing that I should point out, Elizabeth doesn't actually point out at what time she expressed interest because that could have been when Supergirl was still filming around the same time that Superman Lois was filming and it was all still in the cards. But now that Melissa isn't working on Supergirl, that Supergirl has finished and Superman Lois is still going on, so they're up in Vancouver, but Melissa's in LA, presumably working on her new show, that interest is only going to go so far as if they are going to offer her a huge deal to come back up to Vancouver, pay her a load of money, and then have like, I don't know, like a one, two episode appearance as a guest star on Superman Lois. But... For now, I'm pretty sure Melissa's gonna stick in LA, and this is just me making presumptions here, but she is just signed up to be the star of a new TV show. She's also producing and doing lots of things over at Warner Bros. TV, so she's gonna have her hands full, and so I don't believe, unless it's a really good opportunity, she's actually gonna come up to Vancouver and film for Superman Lois in the near future. Now, we don't know how long Superman Lois is going to go on for, so there is always the chance, and I am never going to discount this, that Melissa could show up as Supergirl in the future. 
if Superman Lois does a Flash and goes on for nine seasons, that's many years. Like, Melissa would have been away from the Supergirl character for a very long time. Maybe at that point when Superman Lois is heading to its end, that's when she would show up because it's just been such a long time and maybe she's missing it a little bit or wants to show up considering it Superman Lois' final season. And I do think Superman Lois will last beyond at least season five, season six, hopefully to season nine like The Flash. That would be very cool. But yeah, so it's interesting that she reveals that she has expressed interest to her. But again, like I said, we don't know at what point that was. So I don't know how viable and how much we should actually read into that comment. But she also mentions that they would love to work with Grant and everyone again. That's kind of the way that she puts it. So that includes obviously the crossover characters, the actors on the other shows that aren't just Supergirl. So yes, Grant. She would love it if The Flash came over. So I don't know if they share the same opinion as the showrunner, Todd Helbing, because Todd Helbing is pretty adamant, it seems from interviews, that he wants to keep Superman and Lois quite isolated and separated away from the Arrowverse. And so honestly, right now, it doesn't look very possible that any of the crossovers are going to happen on Superman and Lois. I don't think we're going to see Grant, even if it is The Flash's final season. I feel like Todd Helbing is so kind of caught up in his own Superman Lois world that I don't think he's going to be thinking of that if I'm being completely honest. And so it's good to hear that Elizabeth and also Tyler are interested in these crossovers and that's probably because they were involved in the crossovers before, they were involved in Supergirl, well Tyler specifically, and so they would like to see that all happen again because they get to work with other people as well that they worked with in the past. That's obviously a big plus, but I don't think Todd Helbing is actually so into the idea of a crossover considering they think Superman Lois is going good right now, which it is, although there was a big backlash to that Arrowverse reveal at the end of season two. So maybe Todd Helbing should rewind the clock and actually do a crossover at some point soon in order to get everyone back on board because we don't know the repercussions like season three could totally go downhill in terms of like viewers actually watching it because they are rebelling against the show for basically abandoning the Arrowverse and creating their own Superverse. Although I know they aren't cutting the Arrowverse out completely, it's pretty clear that they want to go at it alone at least for a while. But really by the time that they get to that point where they want to do a crossover, how many Arrowverse shows are there going to be left? Like right now, it's not looking very, very hopeful for the future. But going back to Melissa Benoist showing up as Supergirl, Elizabeth says she doesn't know if it's going to happen or not. They've had to deal with a lot of restrictions due to the pandemic for a long while, which is another kind of PR excuse for why they haven't done some of the big crossovers. They could totally do one right now, especially considering that The Flash did one last year with Armageddon, so why can't Superman and Lois at least do a small crossover with like one or two characters like maybe The Flash and Supergirl? Well, they totally could. I just think the showrunner is against it, so we're not going to be seeing that anytime soon. And yes, there may be some restrictions still in place in Canada and Vancouver film sets specifically, but I don't think it's going to be super strict that you can't cross crews and you can't you know, have other people come to your set without isolating for two weeks like they had to do last year and the year before. No, I think it's completely different now, and I think it's more lenient. However, I'm not in Vancouver, I am only in London, so I only know how it works over here compared to knowing nothing over in Canada. So maybe Canada Grouse or anyone from Canada can rectify in the comments below what the actual conditions are like in terms of mixing crews and stuff. But right from where I am, I don't see it as that far-fetched to have a mini crossover. Now, I understand if they don't want to do a huge crossover because maybe that's just one step too far. They need to kind of get back into the swing of things. But considering that the flash is ending, why not do a big crossover? That's what I would totally do but they've decided to go their own way. So one final thing before we end the video, let's just talk about Melissa Benoist returning to Superman and Lois. So it seems, like she said, she is open. That's great, and that's good news for the future. But like I mentioned before, probably not going to be happening for a long while as Melissa goes down a different path, and that's kind of the whole reason that 
Supergirl ended in the first place is because Melissa chose to end the show along with the showrunners. It was a mutual decision. And so with that in mind, don't expect Supergirl to show up on Superman and Lois straight away or even next season or the season after that. I really don't think that's going to happen. There is always the chance, as Todd Helbing hinted at a while ago, if they do Supergirl, it could be a totally different version of Supergirl, played by a different actor, could even be the DCU Supergirl. We talked about that in previous videos, and I have lots of theories about what these potential other characters could be now that Superman and Lois has said that it's set on its own Earth and Superman is the only superhero and that basically leaves a whole window of opportunity to introduce new characters, doppelgangers, and things like that. But that pretty much does it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. It really would help out the channel. Also, subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new to not miss any future videos. And you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.